Hello folks, Florentine Santif here. Today we will take a look at all shops the game offers and see what you probably should buy from them. Let's jump right into it before developers add a new one. So let's take them in order and start with the throne shop. You get points and level as you rank well on challenges and the higher your rank is, the more things you can buy. As you can see I'm level 12 right now. But the very best thing from this shop comes way earlier, level 3 or 4, I can't remember exactly. It's the Spring Surprise Permanent Skin for your castle. With it activated, every 12 hours you will be able to collect an egg that contains gems, resources and a small amount of Kingdom XP. Resources are based on your current levy outcome. For gems, it depends on your kingdom level. For example at level 14, you get 60 gems, while at 17 you get 73 gems. This skin is great for the steady gem income it provides. Even if you're lazy and collect once a day, this is still around 2k gems a month. It's significant so this skin should be your top priority. After that, you could get other castle skins if you haven't already, and maybe zodiac items if you're planning on building them. At my level I don't need any of that so I get the monthly 500 gems, and spend the rest on either Lazurits or Tourmalin amulets to one day put my wall beyond level 400. Energy runes are also a great option because it's hard to get them once you have finished all Kingdom Expeditions. This shop is stacked with good things so you can't really go wrong there. Up next, we have the King's Feast shop. It resets every Monday and if you attend your regular 3 feasts a day, you basically have 21k points to spend every week, not counting points you get from hosting. If you need any of the 4 hero skins available, by all means save up a little bit and buy them as soon as possible, they're pretty cheap and all unlock a new skill. Best one is Arthur because it unlocks a 5 stars provision skill, something no other legendary hero has, for better provision manuscripts efficiency. Quality items should be your next priority there, so get all 3 quality scrolls, manuscript pages and undeciphered quality manuscripts. This will cost you a total of 15k points so you have 6k remaining. Spend another 1000 on energy drafts, and the remaining 5k points on flags to prepare for alliance championship. Best ones are purple, orange and blue, adapt your spending to your alliance usual strategy. If you have more points because you host, you can grab tomes there. If you really want Kingdom XP you can consider the small bags but you probably should stay away from big ones as they are pretty expensive. If you're really early in the game, the gold option is a valid one to speed up your hero leveling process, especially since flags won't be much of use this early. From the Maiden Feast shop you should get stamina drafts every week, they are really cheap. Consider charm items for any leftover points. Maiden skins all add a bit of intimacy but no new Maiden skill so they're optional, and don't concern any Maiden you should be interested in. An easy skip if you ask me. Battle shop is a little more complicated because it depends on how hard you can hit Utune each day. Given that prices of items go up every time you buy one, at first I would spread my points to buy one of each of the following items for points efficiency. Manuscript page, manuscript cash, perfume, ball gown, ruby ring, ruby scepter, precious necklace, precious earrings and dry supplement bag. If you have leftover points, then buy them all again for their second price, then third, then fourth, and so on. There are the most useful items so I would only focus on these. As you can see, buying all 10 of them will ask you to do a little more than 31 billion damage to YouTube. This will take you a few months to do that kind of damage. If you're past that point, you can add tournament items to the rotation, then tomes, swords and XP bags, and then fragments. Ultimately you will be able to buy the whole shop every day, as long as you do around 72 billion damage. To increase your output, you can safely use a couple of expedition charters on your top heroes every day if you don't need them anymore to kill bosses on main quest campaign. What you get from Alliance Shop depends on where you're at. At first, Merlin and Scarlet Fragments are good to enhance them to bronze. If you don't want to spend money in the game, you should then quickly switch to saving mode to get Kawala and Matilda tokens. Having the possibility to fully max two heroic maidens, even if they aren't the best, is pretty good for a free-to-play account. If you want to go the Zodiac route, getting Subutai from this shop is quite cheap but remember to also buy his Paragon cards down the road. And finally, when you have all this, your daily points will go into either Investiture material or quality manuscripts. Stay away from Mighty Helmets as Bogotter heroes are not very good. They ask for too many helmets and the result is bad still so don't waste your points there. 
From Castle Siege you should get at least 10,500 points a week to spend. Always buy daily and weekly gems and spend what you have left on Heroic Maiden tokens, they have the best value. Elizabeth and Mulan are the best but Mary and Brunhilde are still okay. Jinchio isn't good so skip this one. Remember that for your heroes to be good you need to raise their paragons so don't stop when you have summoned them, keep buying tokens until paragons are maxed out. When you're done with that, I find Lazuritz and Tourmaline amulets to be good deals but you can also spend your points on stamina or goodwill drafts because they are quite cheap as well. All other items are overpriced so I don't recommend buying anything else. Weekly ranking shop only has a few options and the best one by far is the romantic evening buff when you're about to use a high number of stamina drafts, either during a maiden XP challenge or wave of love. The extra dinner buff is okay too during a feast challenge. It lasts for 24 hours so you will get one extra seating the day you buy it, but also the next day if it's within that 24 hours period of time. As far as items go, all drafts are valuable but stack points for buffs first, and then spend leftovers on those drafts in case of an emergency need. Shard Shop is only good if you're looking to work on Sir Morian. The only decent priced item aside from Morian and Amina is Manuscript Caches for 500 points. You have to find a sustainable source of shard points and for this I find Subatide tokens from Alliance Shop to be the best deal. Each dismantle will grant you 50 shard points for 200 alliance points so it's better than Matilda or Kawala tokens that cost 2000 alliance points and dismantle for 400 shard points. Mordred and non-legendary beasts fragments are decent backup. Even though they don't give many shard points, it's better than having them rotting on your bag forever. On top of that, you can get them from the battle shop for free once you hit hard enough. Aside from Morian and manuscript caches, you can get undeciphered quality manuscripts as well. All other items look expensive so I don't think they're worth it, only consider them if you really want to clean your bags from all the useless stuff you'll eventually stack. And there you go. I hope you now have a better understanding on how you should spend your various resources on shops. If you have any further questions, reach me through Discord or leave a comment here. Thank you for watching, and bye bye.